What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, welcome uh, to the, the first bullish video I made today. Uh, we'll be covering uh, DFI money, I think. Uh, the token is YFII, uh, DFI money, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're covering the, the, the only really bullish crypto today, <laughs> YFII. It's up 30%, volume has increased to almost, uh, to more than 150 million, which is uh, amazing. Um, but apart from that, what I usually do in these videos is, is I cover a crypto, I cover the price, and that's also what we'll do in this video. Uh, but usually I also cover the news around it. And uh, when I saw this token, I thought, well, we have to have some news um, to be bullish in, in this entire market, which has, been, uh, which has been affected by the whole drama between FTX uh, and Binance, but especially around FTX. Um, and there has to be some good news for YFI, YFII. Um, but in all honesty, I couldn't find anything. Um, I couldn't find anything that, that's bullish about this, which makes me think this is manipulation, but the market doesn't look like it's manipulated. It has been bullish ever since the end of September. I mean, we dropped that, we went from like $800 to where we are right now at, at 1900. Um, so I might've missed something, but I couldn't find any news around it, not on Twitter, not on any other places. Now, maybe, just maybe I could find something on Telegram. So let's do some live research. I think that's uh, I think that's beneficial for for all of us. In the end, we want to know what's uh, in the end we want to know what's going on. If I could open it at least, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah. So hopefully you're not seeing this right now, but I'm I'm in Telegram right now. Yeah. I mean, no nobody knows what the what the. Um, what it is either some people are saying some manipulation by wills that that's probably it uh, to be quite honest with you uh it, it almost has to be manipulated because um yeah it's it's just a move like this with, with no real reason it kind of scares me uh, but if we take a look at the at, at, at the technicals real quick what you can see is that we we actually found our first resistance level where we're struggling with quite a bit this level between 1950 and uh, and 2100 so if we really want to get like our next price target is right here between 2300 and 2400 uh, we could reach that but we need to do two things first of all we need to stay on top of this support level here between 1700 and 1750 as long as we're like, like you have to see it this way as long as we're above that support level we're still bullish so we can still break above 2000 and the moment moment we break above 2000 we're going all the way up to 2300 and 2400 so yes uh, even with these market circumstances, I think we can actually continue this. Um, it, it's definitely possible, but but you have to know that this is all over um, if this level here around 1700 breaks. If right now, and you can clearly see uh, that some cracks are starting to appear. You can clearly see from these uh, from these wicks uh, that there's a lot of resistance at 1950 and 2000. So I, I actually think that's mainly because of these market circumstances. Um, I think it's more likely that we'll actually not hold 1700 and that we'll break down below to like 1600, take a break retest and start dropping down to this uh, 1500, 1400 level. And then from there, I, I think we'll consolidate. Um, and if the market actually gets a little bit more bullish from there, we could even continue this, uh, this uptrend. But from there, I do think, uh, so from that support level between 1400 and 1500, I do think that, that we will follow the market again and that this manipulation uh, it's over with. So we can still get up as long as we're above 1750 and 1700. But if that breaks, it probably is over. I, I think that's the, the, the most important things to, uh, to realize. Um, so yeah, if you do have any questions about the video or about anything I said, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.